How's it going everyone? For Chelmsford Telemedia, I'm meteorologist Nate Morris here with your weekly weather update and forecast for the Chelmsford area. So I want to start off by talking about this upcoming hurricane season. We're expecting a much stronger hurricane season this year than normal. We're thinking about 17 to 25 named storms, so that's including tropical storms and hurricanes. Five to nine hurricanes, four of seven of which are going to be major, which is a category three or higher. Now the reason why we're having so many hurricanes this year compared to the past few years is because we're going through something called La Nina right now. And La Nina is when this section of the Pacific Ocean is cooler than normal. And when it's cooler than normal, you don't have as much air rising. And so you don't have as much of an upper level wind moving this way. And that causes less wind shear happening above where these hurricanes form. And hurricanes like that because if you got you know strong winds moving the opposite direction that you're trying to go, then that's going to inhibit your growth. So because those winds are going to be weaker thanks to that cooler water over the uh, eastern Pacific, those hurricanes are going to be allowed to grow more. Now here's showing that actual cooling of the eastern Pacific. You can see this blue showing the colder than normal waters. And over the past few uh, weeks, it's been just getting colder and colder. So we're, re are, we're fully expecting to be in full La Nina soon. Now combine that with this is a map showing the uh, temperature anomaly for the Atlantic Ocean this summer. And as you can see, the section where all these hurricanes tend to form and move, it's going to be much warmer than normal. So when you combine all that moisture and warm air, uh, warm sea surface temperatures, excuse me, available for these storms, and then not a whole lot of upper level winds inhibiting their growth, you get a lot of storms and strong storms. Here's your name list for this year. We got, well, I'll let you read it. We got um, Captain Kirk meeting us in the middle of the year, so that might be interesting. Overall, I mean, if your name's up here, then Shout out you, hopefully it doesn't hit. Uh, you never want to see that happen, especially when it's your name because it's funny at first and then it very quickly becomes not funny. So moving on to the actual weather for this week. This is Wednesday. This is a radar loop showing 12 p.m. through 10 p.m. It's gonna be partly cloudy, warm, humid, sunny at first, and then you're gonna see all these clouds kind of pop up out of nowhere. Pretty clouds, but threatening clouds, and you might get a dump of a shower or two. I'm thinking it's gonna be a lot like last Sunday. Now. It might be really nice looking outside. Uh, like I said, those clouds, are, they're going to look pretty cool before you know, they dump all that rain on you. So if you do go swimming, uh, keep your radar, uh, radar app open and just make sure you don't have any rain coming because there is a chance that some of these could have lightning and thunderstorms and you don't want to be in the water for that. Moving on to Thursday, I'm thinking Thursday morning, it looks like we might have a little rain to our south. The model trends are suggesting that it's going to creep up north a little bit. So Thursday morning, probably going to get some showers. But then after that, the rest of the week is actually looking pretty amazing. Look at this high pressure system moving in towards the mid-Atlantic, centering around that area. Friday is looking beautiful. Saturday, also looking beautiful. We're just still in this ridge of good weather, even while this mid-latitude cyclone, this low pressure system starts to creep in. Now that is going to shift more to the southeast. So Sunday, still looking good for us. Monday is when this rain starts to kind of spread out. So there might be a chance of rain there. I'm thinking it'll probably disperse or just stay to ourselves, so I'm going to go with just partly cloudy for Monday. And then Tuesday, it's looking like it's going to go back to nicer weather. But Tuesday night, you might start to see some clouds move up from this uh, sort of a jet. I mean, you got your high pressure here, so all your air is moving in this direction. That might bring up some moisture and some clouds. So Tuesday night, probably going to be cloudy. So just a little review. Wednesday, afternoon showers, pop-up showers. Other than that, it's going to be nice in between those showers. Thursday, getting down to actually to 66. Thursday, the morning's going to be kind of rainy, but the rest of the day is actually going to be wicked nice because after that rain passes, those clouds will only be breaking up and dispersing. And then you combine that with the cooler temperatures, you know, it might be a nice little break before we get to these, you know, low to mid to high 70s as the week goes on. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, looking beautiful. Uh, sorry, I forgot, Friday. And the clouds will just be kind of gradually increasing as we get to Monday and Tuesday. Monday, if that rain does come up from the south, then there could be a chance of light showers. But right now, I'm just going to say it's going to be partly cloudy. And then Tuesday, cloudier as the day goes on, as that high pressure moves off, off the coast and brings up some clouds coming up from the south. So I think it's going to be a pretty great week. Careful about tomorrow. Careful about Thursday morning. Careful about Monday. The rest of the week, it's going to be beautiful. So make sure you get out and enjoy it. Summer's finally here. I'll see you next week for Chumpster Telemedia. I'm meteorologist Nate Morris.